Apple could just be a couple of short months away from its very first event of 2022. Earlier this week, reports have surfaced that a spring event will likely be held in March or April to announce the new iPhone SE and other hardware. The report from Mark Gurman did not elaborate which other hardware was going to be announced, but we can expect to see up to at least four products unveiled at this event. So what four products could we see? Well, to start, a new fifth generation iPad Air is in the works, and that could be announced at this spring event, and it would feature an A15 Bionic chip, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera with center stage support on the front facing camera, 5G, and a quad LED true tone flash. The new iPad Air should retain the same old overall design that we've seen introduced in the fourth gen, including a single lens camera on the back, slim bezels on the front with the removal of the Touch ID home button, and putting Touch ID on the power button as well as adding a USB-C port. These updates to the iPad Air would actually put it much more in line with the iPad mini that was just released back in 2021. Now moving on to the next generation iPhone SE, this third gen model should feature the same 4.7 inch display, a Touch ID home button, and those thick bezels that we're accustomed to seeing in this older iPhone design. Key upgrades are set to include 5G support and a faster A15 Bionic chip, which is actually the chip that's currently found in iPhone 13 models. The bigger design changes for the SE model is really not expected until at least next year, where Apple plans to increase its size to 5.7 inches, but for now, we can kind of expect to see the same old, same old when it comes to the iPhone SE, but this time giving users 5G support and of course that faster processor. We can also expect to see a new 27 inch iMac that's apparently rumored to be released in the first half of 2022. And so this spring event could be the right time for the company to unveil its larger iMac that is expected to feature a mini LED display, support for ProMotion 120 Hertz variable refresh rates, as well as incorporate the same M1 Pro and M1 Max chips that debuted in the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. Now the design for this has been rumored to look more like a Pro Display XDR over the current 24 inch design that features a front white bezel with pastel colors on that bottom chin and then brighter versions of those colors on the back. It's also possible that this model adopts the iMac Pro name, even though it's meant to be more of an update to the 27 inch iMac and not necessarily a direct replacement to the current iMac Pro. And finally, perhaps also launching at the spring event would be the new version of a Mac mini. The Mac mini could feature this updated design, which is going to boast a plexiglass like top that will sit over an aluminum enclosure with two tone color options as a possibility. Now the upcoming Mac mini is expected to use the same M1 Pro and M1 Max chips that again were introduced back in 2021 with those MacBook Pro models and it will feature a total of four Thunderbolt ports up from two over the previous generation. Other ports will include a pair of USB type A ports, an ethernet port, an HDMI port, and a port for a magnetic charging cable. Now, no specific time frame for this machine has really been rumored a lot, but it would make sense to launch this alongside the previously mentioned new 27 inch iMac. And so both of these machines could be coming either this March or April at Apple spring event. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Personally, these are all kind of minor upgrades, except for that 27 inch iMac and Mac mini, which is what I'm most excited for. So I'd love to know what you think again, down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.